This is a PP boy. And it's a popular knickknack from China. It's made of zisha, a purple clay. And it's called PP pee -pee boy because when you pour hot water over its head, it starts to pee. The PP boy is what's called a tea pet. Zisha cha chong na yeshi he cha ren zeng tian qing qu de yi zhong chong wu. Wo jiao Huang Yun shi yi xing ben di ren. Huang is a tea pet artist. Her hometown Yixing is famous for its teapots made from a local clay called zisha. 最早的时候呢，茶盘上是没有紫砂茶宠的，只有单一的紫砂壶跟紫砂杯。随着人们生活水平的提高呢，审美的改善，才有了紫砂茶宠。啊，咱们在刚刚做的时候呢，它其实就是一个泥团，它的五官开脸啊，手脚衣纹都是用紫砂工具一点一点精挑细琢出来的。我足足是花了三天时间啊，成型之后呢，还是挺满意的。And there are many types of tea pets. Why are more and more people loving pet cats? Because each pet has its own beautiful wishes. Like this pet, it's a pink cat. It has its own beautiful wishes. It's called Hi Hi Mei Mei, Four Hundred and Eighty Eight. But the most popular tea pet of all is the PP Boy. Like this pet, the cat is the most popular pet in the history of the cat, and also the most popular pet in the history of the cat. It is used by using a water heater. We put the cat in the mouth and then it is very interesting. It is presented in front of you as a cat with 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 a cat. Because of the way it reacts to hot water, some researchers believe the PP boy could be the first thermometer known to mankind. So I wanted to know, what is the science behind it? I called up my friend Alex, and we tried to make our own pee pee boy using glass beakers and flasks to see how that hot water reaction works. This is going to be the pee pee boy. Got a big head, okay, and a very small hole in comparison to the head. That's the important thing. Alex is going to use this flask to show how thermodynamics drives what's happening inside a pee pee boy. What we're going to do. Is we're going to run exactly the same procedure that we run on a PP boy. Now, just so you you can see the water level a bit better, so we're going to add some of this lovely pink food coloring to it. The first step we need to do we need to get the air inside this very very hot so that it expands. As we cool it down, the air inside will begin to contract. As it shrinks, the pressure will get lower, but the air pressure outside stays the same. So what's going to happen is actually the air outside, the air above us, will actually push the water inside. As you can see, the water has been pushed up. Yeah. Now the next step is how you get the water out. Right. So what we're going to do is we're going to pour some boiling water back onto the head of the pee pee boy. Yeah. Okay. This will cause the gas inside that has now shrunk to expand again, and it's going to push out all of that water, and it's going to pee. Something like a pee pee boy, <laughs> probably because the the hole isn't quite as small comparatively. We're not going to get a big jet. Yeah, but you should but see a similar see result. Okay. Let's give this a go. There wow. we go. Out it goes. Keep going. Keep going. Yeah. Now you can see it's peeing out. So interesting, the science behind this, the expansion and then contraction and then expansion contraction of air. Um, is essentially the same physics behind a steam engine. It's the expansion that pushes the piston out, and it's a contraction that pulls the piston in. Just like we're pulling water in yep. and then pushing it back out, it's exactly how a steam engine would work. So a steam engine is just like a really big PP board. Exactly. So Alex, do you think this can be used like as a thermometer? As a very crude thermometer. Let's give it a try. Let's see if the the water's hot. There he goes. Definitely hot enough. Could it be used as an accurate thermometer? Not without a lot of extra physics and a lot of extra mathematics. So it's just like a for fun thing. Yeah, I think for novelty value. Boom. Cool. Oh, cheers. So there you go. Is the PB boy the oldest thermometer in the world? <laughs> Probably not, but it sure adds a lot of fun to tea time.
Shut up.